Well, when I was there in Fort Fairfield, Mr. Williams, that was uh, Paul Mullen's wife's father, he worked at the hotel and uh, he called me one morning quite early. He was, he was the night clerk at the hotel in Fort Fairfield and he called me and he said, we've got a man here that called down to the desk and he said that if he hadn't, if he didn't come down from his room by a certain time, either send for a preacher or a doctor. <laughs> and he said, uh, I thought I thought of you first, so he said, would you come down and see him? So I went up, I went down to the hotel. This was quite early in the morning, you know. And uh, anyway, Mr. Williams sent a man with me, a man that worked at the hotel. And uh, we went up to, he t took me up to the room where this fellow was. And uh, he was a fellow with a, well, I don't know, you've seen him, one of those pebbly, complexions, pot bursts all over his face. And he hadn't shaved for a day or two and his whiskers were <laughs> black. <laughs> and anyway, we went up, this man went with me up to his room and we knocked on the door and he yelled, come in. <laughs> and, uh, so he asked me, he says, who are you? And I said, well, I'm a minister and they, called me and told me that you wanted to see a minister or a doctor. Oh yeah. So I pointed to the other fella, from the fella from the hotel. Who are you? And he says, oh, I just work for the hotel here. And he said, yeah. He said, they sent you up. You represent the hotels. He said, so if a man commits suicide, he wouldn't get blood on the carpet. <laughs> and that was my own introduction to that fellow. Was it Charlie Parker? Was Charlie it? Parker. Uh -huh. And you know, I mentioned that preaching out to Kinnear there one time. There was some folk used to come up from Appahawk or somewhere there. And he was amazed because this... Parker went to Bethany, and this one had been to Bethany, and he, he knew the story when I was <laughs> telling him. But anyway, getting back to him, I, he, uh, <laughs> I guess we talked a little bit, and I don't know whether I'd had a prayer with him. It almost seems to me I did. But all of a sudden, he jumped out of that bed. And I say he had this pebbly countenance and his whiskers were a day or two old, black. And he was just in his underwear. And there was a bed on one side of the room he was in, there was a bed on the other side. And he jumped out of that bed as though he'd been hit by lightning. <laughs> and he was hopping. <laughs> From one bed to the other, yelling, I see the light, I see the light. <laughs> I'd like to have a picture of that on, on a movie camera. I mean, he, he had a very pe pebbly uh, complexion and, mm. and whiskers. He had to shave for a day or two. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> After he jumped back and forth from one bed to the other, yelling, I see the light, he landed back in the bed, so I kind of sat down to hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short, he, he found the Lord. Yeah. And he came down to the, down to the house.
I guess had breakfast with us down there. And old, I don't know, you didn't know. Do you remember Leonard Hutchins? Yeah. Well, Leonard was a quite a war horse. He gave him a quite a lecture. <laughs> So whatever became of Charlie Parker? Well, he went to Bethany, and he was... I've got pictures of him somewhere. He became associated with Buckingham. Buckingham was there to Bethany, I guess, okay. at that time. And uh -huh. They belonged to this... They had a club or something, evangelization, evangelism club or something, and he and Buckingham. I've got a picture of him somewhere. I don't have it here, I don't think, but uh, of him. Hmm. And he went to Bethany for a year, and then he, he uh, I guess, had a Methodist background, and he pastored the Methodist church in Easton for two or three years or four, I don't know. And then he went away. It seemed to me, I don't know whether it was, there was sort of a summer school type of a thing, and he met a lady and, and uh, they got married. Mm. And they went out to somewhere, New York State, oh, I yeah. guess, took a church. And I see. And I heard that he died, and died suddenly out there. Okay. Huh. And you know, he would be middle-aged, or past middle-aged, maybe. Well, if he was Buckingham's age, now he would be, you know, 70. But that would be, yeah, that would well, make I him 20 years he, younger he, than he you. He'd be older than Buckingham, and when you okay. see he was, a, he'd been a married man before okay. he ever went to Bethany. I see. And I would say likely he would be 10 years older than Buckingham. Okay. okay, maybe 10 years younger than you or something like that? Well, probably not too much younger. Is that right? Okay. Okay.